The question I would ask you though, and it, because obviously you've moved away from that business, you now, the thing I find to be the most interesting about you is that younger boys yep. love you. Yes. They absolutely, like the 12, 13 year old, 14 year old, I, I, I have not come across a 12, 13 year old boy who's not just an Andrew Tate stan. Yeah. And I think that's, it's remarkable. It gives you a lot of power. And I think this is perhaps the interest that a lot of people have in you is what are you going to do with this power, right? You have yeah. all these boys, they believe in you, they stand up for you. And that is why it becomes important to state I'm not sorry that I lived this. I don't think I would say that I'm sorry for anything that I, decisions that I made when I was young either, because that, this is the deck of hands that I was given. What do you want me to do? Yeah. But at the same time, I do try to now knowing that I have such a following of, of a lot of young ladies that follow me say like, listen, I did the idiot stuff. So you don't have to. power, power and responsibility go hand in hand. And that's the thing that's so interesting. These out of date clips and they want to talk about these things from 10 years ago. At the time when I was talking to camera, those videos were made for private circulation initially. Secondly, I wasn't trying to educate the world in anything back then. I didn't have the kind of power and influence I have back then. The way you say something to a video, which has 50 viewers has to be different than the way you say something to a video that has 50 million viewers. Mm -hmm. Power and responsibility absolutely go together. And I understand that very well. And I understand the power I have. And I do believe I'm now an absolute force for good in the world. And I'm far more careful with how I'll project myself with certain ideas. Absolutely agree completely. But that's the thing that's even so crazy about all of it. These old videos that everyone's so concerned about wouldn't even circulate if my haters weren't constantly trying to use them against me. They're, right. they're, they'd be disappeared into the history of the internet. I don't know where these things come from. I don't know where they were found. I don't know where they are. It's kind of crazy. A lot of people are making all these constant attacks on me and I don't watch a lot of it. I'll have to be honest with you, Candace. I don't watch all of it. But a lot of the videos are so outdated. The only reason they even exist now is because my haters are so desperate trying to take me down. They don't have any concern for them being seen because they wouldn't be sure circulating them otherwise. Mm -hmm. So yeah, absolutely. Power and responsibility go hand in hand. And I do believe that I now have a huge platform. And with young boys, they're ex exceptionally interested in my case. I do believe to a degree I'm an anti-hero. I do believe to a degree that the harder I'm attacked, the more credibility is given to me in the eyes of my fans. I think that they see, ah, everyone's out to get this guy. Everyone was out to get Batman. This kind of feels that way. And I do try and lead everyone down a good path and say extremely positive things. And I don't think anybody is finding any clips from the last five to six years which have anything negative in them.